Let's see who did the best. I see at the top of the list here, we have Teddy. Very nice, Teddy. All right, hackers up here. That's someone we're missing. All right, very good, Kwanhai. We're waiting on Kwanhai to come online. Kwanhai did really well. Chi, there you are, very good. All right, excellent job, everyone. I think we're waiting on Ocean. Ocean's up here. Sao, nice. Nuna's in the other class, Bo, Zoyman. Here's Kui, very good. You guys tried multiple times. Very good job, everybody. Very pleased. Okay, let's get started going over your quiz. Number one, what is a reason that fish are bioluminescent in the midnight zone? Kui. To find food. To find food, nice work, Kui. Remember, prey can use bioluminescence to camouflage. What could be the food for animals that live in the midnight zone? What could be their food? Min Long? Uh, dead plankton plant, fish, and mammals. Uh, and other, other that live in the midnight zone. Very good, Min Long. The black swallower fish. It can, can eat prey twice a time. It Stop. Nice job, Kong Hai. What percentage of water is in the midnight zone? Noob. 19. 19. 90. 90. Good job, Noob. Next question. What does the light in the midnight zone come from? Zalin? From the animal that can make their own light. Oh, very good. Nice work, Salin. What is a fish that is bioluminescent in the midnight zone? Uh, Teddy. Oh. The, the angler fish. Angler fish. Nice job, Teddy. Good pronunciation. How deep is the midnight zone? How deep is it? Kiwi? One thousand. 1,000 meters to 1. To 11,000. 11,000 feet. Very good, Kiwi. All right, what does the temperature feel like in the midnight zone? No, Leo. Freezing. Freezing, good. Hannah and Emma, can I hear you now? Yes. There we go. I'll leave you guys unmuted. You can answer the next one. What is something you can find at the bottom of the ocean, Hannah and Emma? This organ. Good. Can you say organisms? That organism. Very nice. Thank you, Emma. All right. It's all done. Nice work, everyone. Great job. Let's go over part two of your homework what you find in the midnight zone. Thank you, this is Zalin, some beautiful coloring. She even did a blob fish. <laughs> Here's Min Huangs, he's done a great job adding to his every time. All right, we also have, turn it this way. Cindy, very good Cindy. Sal's been really good about adding to his every time. Nice job, Sal. A beautiful, beautiful one. Oh, Chi, Chi, very good, Chi. Um, so let's see. Oh, and that's right. I also had two others from Teddy and Kwong Hai. Teddy and Kwong Hai, I can't download yours. Uh, Zalin, what did you draw? A blue fish and an angle fish. Well, they're very, very good. I love your drawing, Zalin. So, what did you draw? I draw an angle, angle fish and a tripod. Angular fish. Good, and a tripod fish. Nice job. I like that you included one of the new fish we learned, the tripod. 
And I see your twilight zone and sunlight zone are also really good. You have plants, animals. This is very nice, Sal. Teddy, would you like to share yours? Wow, very nice drawings. Okay, what did you draw in the midnight zone? I draw a sea cucumber and a snip eel. In the twilight zone, in the twilight zone, I draw a rat, tail fish, and me and a neon fish. And Koopa uh, and the coral Koopa and I'm in the sunlight and I draw anchovies and mac mac. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, very nice. I like your drawing. Good job. And I can see it here. Here's Kwanha's drawing. He drew the angler fish and the tripod fish. She, are you there? I draw a vampire squid, a angler fish, a black squirrel, a, and an opossum. A possum shrimp. Very good, Chi. I like that you included so many animals. Your vampire squid looks really good. Your black swallower has the big stomach. Excellent job, Chi. I'm very impressed. We're going to go over what we've learned already. So plants match the name in the top to the plant in the top or the name on the bottom to a plant on the bottom. All right, ready, set, go. See Min Huang drawing, Kwan Hai, Zalin, nice. All right, let's see how we've done. All right, it looks like the sea anemones coming over here to the first one, right? This is where we see Nemo. The second one is seagrass, good job. The third one's the water wheel plant. Remember the water wheel plant is a carnivore. It eats fish. All right, our red algae came down here. Phytoplankton and our big kelp forest. Excellent job, everyone. All right, match the animal to its adaptation. All right, everyone match the animal to its adaptation. Ready, set, go. Oh, Kwan Hai and Teddy knew the elephant seal. Sorry, I didn't check my chat fast enough. All right, looking good, hacker. All right, let's see what we have. Good, the lobsters go into hard shell, nice. Elephant seal. Extra layer of fat, very good. Sea urchins, a little split between hard shell and spikes. And this one's electricity, okay. So lobster, hard shell, elephant seal, extra layer of fat. The sea urchin has spikes and poison. And the electric eel, what does the electric eel have? She, can you tell us what the electric eel has? The electric eel has electricity to paralyze. Paralyze. Paralyze prey. Very good, nice job, Chi. Everyone circle the angelfish. Nice hacker, Kwang Hai. The angelfish, good job. Circle the pufferfish. Nice, Kiwi, Teddy. Circle the horseshoe crab. Where's the horseshoe crab? Excellent work, everybody. All right, match the adaptation again. We have the lanternfish, the sperm whale, the squid, and the Atola jellyfish. Go ahead and match. 
Nice hacker. Good. Min Huang, I see you. Nice job, everyone. All right. It looks like the lantern fish. Very good. Sperm whale. Sperm whale seems a little split. Here we go, the squid and the Atola jellyfish. Very good, guys. The lanternfish has bioluminescence, sperm whale, an extra layer of fat. The squid shoots out ink. And the Atola jellyfish has bioluminescence and red coloring to hide. Great work. All right, everyone circle the hatchet fish. Remember, it's shaped like a hatchet. Good job, Kwang Hai. Yes, Hacker Kui Sao, so good. Circle the Atola jellyfish. Good job, Kiwi, Chi, Ocean, Teddy. Circle the swordfish. Matching animals in the midnight zone. Go ahead and match the animal to its adaptation. We have the lantern, the uh, anglerfish, the black swallower, the vampire squid, and the gulper eel. All right, the anglerfish, bioluminescence. Very good. The swallowerfish, large stomach. Excellent. The vampire squid has the large eyes and red color. And the gulper eel has the large mouth, sharp teeth, and expandable stomach. Nice work. All right, everyone, circle the colossal squid. Where's the colossal squid? Nice hacker. The colossal squid. Good, now circle the vampire squid. Where's the vampire squid? There we go. How about the tripod fish? Where's the tripod fish? All right, good work everybody. With that, let's get into today's lesson. Saltwater bodies of Vietnam. All right, we have seas, the salt lakes, and oceans. What is a sea? Who knows what a sea is? Lehan? The sea is when, is when in the sun, the sea has salt water. Yes. And the sea mm -hmm. has crab and many things in the sea don't have a, don't have a fish. So the sea does have fish, but you're right, it also has crabs, it's salt water, sal. In the sea have many animals. The sea yes, is many. Cool. Very and good. And the sea is the largest body of the water. What's bigger, Sal, the sea or the ocean? The ocean. Yeah, the ocean, good. All right, so Here's the South China Sea. We, we see Vietnam right here, all right? And we have the South China Sea, but it's not as big as the ocean. What makes it a sea is that it is, who can read this for me? So exactly, partially surrounded by land. What is ocean? Who can describe it? Hacker? What is the ocean? Ocean is the largest body of water. Very good. Is it salt or fresh water? Salt. What kind of water? Salt. Very good. Nice work, Hacker. Cindy, can you read this for us? Surround it. Surround it. Mm -hmm. Surround it did by land and other oceans. The ocean is a hung body of salt water that covers about 71% of Earth's surface. Very good, Cindy. Can you say the word huge? Huge. Very good, huge. Really 
really big. Nice work, Cindy. So it has land, but it also is surrounded by ocean. What is a salt lake? That one's pretty easy. We know what a lake is. Here's an example, the Great Salt Lake in Utah. Let's see, Min Long, can you read this for us? The lake surrounded by land. Very good, thank you, Min Long. It's fully surrounded by land. All right, so who can tell me what are the differences between the bodies of salt water? Leo? Do not have land. Good, they're all water. I'll take that as a start. Good job. All right, who has another one? Mia? Ocean and sea. Ocean is bigger than sea. Very good, the ocean's bigger. Nice work. Ocean, can you read for us about the ocean, please? Yes. Surrounded by land and other oceans. Very good. All right, Noob, can you read for us about the sea? Ma, cartoon surrounded by land. Very good. Partly surrounded by land. Sorry for that typo right there. All right, and the salt lakes. Minha, can you read about the salt lakes? Smallest, yeah. fully surrounded by land. Very good. Can everyone say the word surrounded? Very good, thank you. All right, there are also gulfs and bays. Here's a gulf. Kui, can you read about the gulf? Part of the ocean that is partly surrounded by land. Very good. So here's the Gulf of Maine. We see the ocean. And then the Gulf. So it's part of the ocean surrounded by land. Let's read about the bay. Zalin, can you read about the bay? Muddy of water that is honey is in enclosing by land and is smaller than a cup. Very good. Can you say the word enclosed? Enclosed. Enclosed. There we go. Much better. Thank you, Zalin. So it's smaller than the it's smaller than a gulf. For example, on this picture, here's the in this picture, here's the ocean, here's the gulf, here's a bay, the Bay of Fundy, Costco Bay. So gulfs are bigger than bays, but smaller than ocean. Everyone circle the, all right, circle the ocean. Circle the ocean. Very good. All right, I'll write ocean here. All right, now I want everyone to circle the lake. Very good, Lehan, Kwanghai, Sao. Excellent work, guys. All right. Everyone circle. So these next three are harder. Sea, bay, and gulf. Really think about it. Which one's the biggest? Which one's the smallest? All right, can you guys circle the sea? Where's the sea? All right, so not quite. So this one here is small. Is the sea small? No, the sea is larger than the bay and the gulf. So this one's going to be the sea, large and partially surrounded by land. Slightly smaller, partly enclosed by land and smaller would be the gulf. And the smallest one that's surrounded by land and could be attached to the gulf 
The sea or the ocean would be the bay. The bay is the smallest, and then the gulf, and then the sea, and then the ocean. Here are the bodies of water around Vietnam. We have the really, really big Pacific Ocean and Indian Ocean. And closer to land, we have the seas, the South China Sea, and the gulfs, like the Gulf of Thailand. Can everyone circle for me? Circle a sea. Everyone circle a sea. Find a sea and circle it, not an ocean. A sea. Good job, Kiwi, Min Huang. Good, nice, Lehan. Good job, all right. Now everyone circle a bay. Find a bay. Nice work. All right, good job, guys. So here are the bodies of water around Vietnam. Who can tell me one? How about Quang Hai? What's a body of water that you see? I can see the South China Sea. Very good, Quang Hai. The South China Sea. Very nice. What's another body of water? Mickey? No. How, Hannah and Emma? Go of Tolkien. Go of Thailand. Good. The Gulf of Thailand. Nice work. <coughs> here we have Hat Long Bay up here. The Gulf of Tonkin. Everyone say Gulf of Tonkin. Good. The South China Sea. We have the Mekong Delta and the Gulf of Thailand. Right? Here we have the Mekong Delta. All right, everyone circle the South China Sea. Where's the South China Sea? Good job, Min Huang, Chi. All right, very nice, guys. All right, we know some of these animals already. These are the animals in Vietnam's oceans. You can go see these. All right, everyone say Hawksbill Turtle. Hawksbill Turtle. Good. The Hawksbill Turtle. This is an ocean sunfish. They're huge. All right, here's Fook Quack's Horned Sea Star. Say Horned Sea Star. Horned Sea Star. Nice. Horned Sea Star. And we have the whale sharks. Look how cool. Everyone say whale shark. Whale shark. Good. It's a shark that looks like a whale. Here, this fish here is a pine cone fish because it looks like the pine cone of a tree. Everyone say pine cone fish. <laughs> pine cone fish. Good job. And the last one is the dugongs. Everyone say dugongs. Dugongs. What? Very good. We'll learn more about these fish this week. So these last ones here are marine animals that are really important for fishing in Vietnam. This is a pangasis. Everyone say pangasis. Pangasis. Good. One more time. Say pangasis. Pangasis. Nice job. So the pangasis, the shrimp, and the tuna are really important to Vietnam's oceans. Vietnam fishes them and needs them for food, for money. The pangasis, the shrimp, and the tuna. All right, guys, that's all for today's class, but you have two things for homework tonight, so pay attention.
First, you have a quizzes about bodies of salt water. All right, let's see who can get all of the answers correct. Number two is research. I want you to find two more animals that live in the oceans or the salt water of Vietnam. Okay, be ready to share them with the class. So find two more animals that live in the salt water bodies of Vietnam. Feel free to look up a fact about them or a picture. All right, and tell them to the class tomorrow. All right, any questions about your homework? Raise your hand in your video. Teddy? But we make a video or we draw it? Draw it. Write it down. So write the name, draw or print out a picture, maybe write down a fact about it. But we write the name of that to fish in English or Vietnamese? In English, in English, yes. All right, and Chi, do you have a question? Where do we draw the animals? Just on any piece of paper. It doesn't have to be in the habitat or anything. Just two other animals that live in the oceans of Vietnam. Draw them on a piece of paper. If you want to, feel free to draw their habitat as well, okay? Totally up to you. All right. Goodbye, everybody. I will see you tomorrow.